University of Tartu is located in the heart of Estonia. Estonia is in the Baltic region of Europe, and it is one of the leaders of the information technology industry. The government puts a lot of effort into supporting the advancement and development of technology. For example, we see that Estonia is the birthplace of Skype. It is the birthplace of TransferWise. Many companies start in Estonia because it spends so much time and effort trying to support technological advancement. One such initiative is the e-residency program. Using the e-residency program, people from around the world are allowed to apply and try to start their own Estonian companies in order to help them do business, to, in order to have the legal infrastructure to uh, live as they wish to do and to do business as they wish to do. What I like about studying in Estonia is that it makes me feel more responsible. Like it makes me, uh, I understand that I have to take more initiatives in the classroom. The teaching and learning process is totally different from what I'm used to back at home. Like in India, it's more seen as a responsibility of a teacher to teach rather than of a student to learn or study basically. But it's the opposite over here. Also, there's no hierarchy. I really feel like there's a balance somewhere between me and the professor. So whenever I need help, I can go and approach them anytime and they would be eager to help me. But at the same time, they won't spoon feed me. So I have to do the task. So that's different for me. And I feel independent in a way about it. Applications for the master's degree are now open until 15th of March. By that day, you should submit an official application, a motivation letter explaining why you're interested in studying in the program, a copy of your diploma as well as transcript translated into English, and for all international students who have not previously completed a level of study, there is a 50 euro admissions fee. One cool perk about studying in Estonia? From Tallinn, you can actually take a cruise and visit Russia visa-free. The evaluation of your application is based on two factors. 50% of your application is based on your motivation letter, and the rest 50% of the application is based on your academic records, including your portfolio. At the University of Tartu, we are currently at one of the top institutions in the world. Currently ranked in the 300s, it is one of the oldest universities of Europe, as well as the oldest university in Estonia. It is extremely prestigious with lots of research opportunities, lots of very qualified, highly professional academics who come here to do their research and to work with students. At the University of Jar 2, I study in the Educational Technology Master's Program. It's a one-year program that is mostly online, but is blended learning, meaning that we come for two weeks in August at the beginning of our program, and we come for one or two weeks in June at the end of our program for us to deliver our thesis as well as graduate. Now, the beauty of this program, the things that we learn are automatically applicable. We can go back to our normal country to our normal workplace and actually apply what we learn. We learn topics like self-regulation, such or we learn about how to adjust and creatively reuse educational technology to accomplish our own purposes. The people that we work with, our professors, are experts in their field. They know what they're talking about and they are always there to help us. They always encourage us to follow our passions, to follow our dreams, to take and do what we want to do.